Hi, I'm Erin from Flam and Grain Systems in Saskatoon. Today I'm going to show you how to check your Perton AM5800 to ensure that it's running correctly for your harvest season. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that all of your calibrations are up to date. The way that you do it is with your um, app and connecting to the machine by Bluetooth. So you'll connect to your unit using your free AM5800 app. You need to make sure your unit is on and connect by Bluetooth. You'll need to scan for the instrument. Once it finds your unit, the connect button will become blue and you tap on it to connect to your instrument. There's a setting to check for any updates. You can tap on that and it'll use the internet to check for any kind of a calibration update. So this one was successful. Once you know that your um, app has the new updates, you can tap on Get Meter Versions. This brings up all of the calibrations that are programmed into your machine. If there is an update, there will be a red exclamation point along the right-hand side of the calibration. To update this, you will tap on the calibration that needs an update, and then tap on the update at the bottom. You'll get the message, do you want to update to the newest version? You will hit yes. When it's successful, you'll get a message saying it was successfully updated, and then you hit OK. You can update all of the calibrations that have an update available, or only the ones that are in your favorites. To disconnect from the app, you will go back to the Start menu and tap Disconnect. When you're disconnected, your unit will still have the Bluetooth connection. To get rid of this, you will tap on the back button to bring you back to the new or to the main screen. You'll want to reset your machine by turning it on and off. And a trick to resetting the machine is putting the handle in position two and hitting the back button until the power button appears on the right hand side. You will tap that power button and it'll go to sleep. You can turn the machine back on and all of your new updates will be in the, in the software on the machine. The other thing to check for is your scale. You should be checking this regularly, but making sure, especially at harvest, that it is reading correctly. How you do that is you need your, your calibration tool which came with your unit and we will do this under the tools menu. So the tools menu is this gear on the bottom right hand side. You tap on the gear and your menu will come up. If you press and hold the question mark, the menu options will appear. The scale check is on the right hand side and the third option down. This is the menu for the scale check. The top button is to tear the scale or zero it out. You press that button, which will make the bottom number get to close to zero. It will fluctuate from up or down uh, 0.2. That's normal. So you can keep pressing it until it stays at zero. You need to ensure that your drawer is empty during this test because we are checking the scale. So once that bottom button was at zero, you will put your plate in the drawer. You want to make note of the weight on your calibration tool. This one is 262.7 grams. You will place it in the drawer and place the drawer inside the unit. The, the scale inside here is weighing that weight and the bottom number will display what that weight is. So currently this one is reading at 262.0. We can use these arrows to go up and down to change it to the 262.7. It can be within 0 0.2, 0 0.1, that's okay. When you're satisfied with that number, you hit okay and remove the plate from the drawer and you can begin your test. By doing these calibration checks, you will be able to get an accurate moisture reading and it should be done uh, at least the, sorry, the, the weight should be tested um, at least once a week, if not more frequent if you're doing many tests. 
The calibrations can be checked every year around harvest. If you have any questions, give us a call and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.